Welcome back to the Prime Real Estate Network Podcast. I'm your host, Rick Davis. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I urge you to do so at Prime Real Estate Rick. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in residential or commercial real estate, reach out to me directly on Instagram at Prime Real Estate Rick. If you're a real estate professional, an aspiring real estate professional, or you're currently studying for your real estate license, and you want to join the real estate family, visit our website at brooksanddavis.com, schedule a consultation, and we will be glad to share the latest and greatest in everything that we have going on at Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm with you. As always, my co-host is the Texas Real Estate King, Mr. Larry W. Brooks, holding it down. How you doing, brother? I'm good, man. Excited. You know, everything. I, lo- I love the information, um, even learning things, things I didn't know when it at least came down to the appraisal part of everything, too. So that's been real good. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you've worn several hats and served on several boards, yeah. man. Yeah. We're going to have to figure out a way to get you on the appraisal review board one day. Just so you say you we checked all the boxes. <laughs> 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 you checked all the boxes. I want you to do this week's guest, man. I want to thank her so much. She's a real estate rock star she's a member of our um, local appraisal review board and not only that she is not she is also an educator a motivator and an inspiration for all the real estate professionals in and around this area so thank you for sitting in with us this week miss jamie brooks yes indeed what's going on now miss jamie Mm -hmm. for those who missed the first segment and i don't know what y'all were thinking next time tune in on time you mentioned a lot about your real estate practice, mm-hmm. um, the consumers that you service, some the things that you do, your responsibilities on the appraisal review board. But I want to talk to you a little bit about your life before real estate. Because the cool thing about having this platform, there's members of our audience who may be introduced to you for the first time today, mm-hmm. but there's also members of our audience who know you professionally, mm-hmm. but haven't had the opportunity to gain an appreciation for the evolutionary path that you've traveled yes. to be the businesswoman, business owner, realtor, and entrepreneur that stands before them today. So could you share with our audience a little bit about what you did before real estate and before entrepreneurship? Well, before real estate, I worked in oil and gas. I worked there for well over a decade. And um, during that time, I noticed that a lot of people were moving to Houston, the Houston mm-hmm. area. A lot of people were moving from out of state, California, Florida, mm-hmm. Wisconsin, and it intrigued me. Mm-hmm. And so I thought about it, and this was back in 2012. Mm-hmm. Um, I had been working well before that in, real, in the oil and gas, and I said, you know, I want to, I want to touch some. I want to touch on real estate. I want to do some real estate. Mm-hmm. So uh, in 2013, I decided to go to Lone Star and Tomball, and I took real estate uh, Mm -hmm. classes. Um, During that time, I completed my courses, and I was ready. I was just ready. I was ready to take the real estate exam. And then in the beginning of 2014, tragedy struck. Mm -hmm. I lost my father. I lost my maternal grandmother. I lost my best friend who happened to be a sister like a sister to me she was actually my god sister i lost her sister i lost my first cousin and i lost my other grandmother in a time frame of six months oh wow that's a lot and it was tragic most of the the deaths were tragic yeah so i had a pause i had to take a pause but real estate was still on my mind Mm -hmm. the only way for me to cope because I really didn't grieve, I continued to work. Yeah. But during that time, I prayed and I said, you know, I, I want to do real estate. But at the time, mentally, I couldn't. Mm-hmm. I had to make sure that my mind was stable enough for me to endure the path to real estate. That's what's up. Wow. So during that time, um, later on, I also... Uh, Divorce ended up getting a divorce, mm-hmm. um, which was uh, something that I felt unfortunately needed to happen mm-hmm. because um, it was part of my path, part of my journey yeah. um, to find happiness and to find peace. And I started to script, and um, I don't know how many people are big on affirmations. Mm-hmm. I started to script, and during that time, I always would reflect on what I wrote, yeah. and I will always see real estate. I'll always see really something now. about real estate. <laughs> and so one particular day, this was in 2019 now, 
So all those years, I was still healing from mm -hmm. what had happened. 2019, I said, you know, I'm going to be a big and bad. I'm going to write a letter to God. Mm -hmm. So made sure the house was quiet, mm -hmm. and I went and lit a candle. And before that, I, I said a little prayer and a little meditation. Mm -hmm. And so I wrote a letter to God. And in that letter, I asked God for some things. And during that time, in parallel of me writing, I could hear God talking to me. Okay. Wow. And he was telling me, ask, you will receive. Wrote the letter to God. It was many things I asked for. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I asked for was, God, I wanted to be independent. I didn't want to work a nine to five anymore. Yeah. It had taken so much time away from my family and from what I wanted to achieve. I don't, I can't do this anymore, God. Mm -hmm. I want to work in real estate. I want to be financially independent. And folded up the letter, put it in the Bible. 2020 hit, COVID. Mm -hmm. And during that time, we were having, of course, if you notice that oil and gas was not doing so well, and I worked True. with drilling equipment, mm. and we had a massive layoff. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. And so, eventually, they shut our facility down. So, I had a choice to either move to another facility or take the severance and move on to something new. No mm. doubt, yeah. When I was given that choice, I said, God, this is what you're telling me. That's right. Yep. I'm going to take that severance package and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I've asked you for. Yep. And when I went home that day, after I chose to take that severance package, I opened the Bible and I read that letter. Mm -hmm. I had not opened that letter for over a year. And when I read that letter, everything that I had asked God for, stemming from love, mm -hmm. family, being closer to him, and the real estate and moving forward, was answered oh wow yeah. and i gotta ask you because having that experience what advice would you give aspiring entrepreneurs that may be sitting in that same seat that you were sitting in when you decided that i'm gonna stop everything i'm gonna take some time i'm gonna humble myself mm. i'm gonna go to god with these requests what kind of advice can you give people who feel like they're trapped in a situation and they don't have an outlet for where they want to be professionally. You have to believe in something. Mm -hmm. Right. You have to believe in something. I practice what I call the three P's. It's planning, mm -hmm. process, and persistence. Mm -hmm. You have to have a plan. I'm three and P's I, powerful, I, I huh? don't care if, if, if you plan in something five years from now. You have to have a plan because that's how you, that's how you start. That's right. Mm -hmm. You plan, and plan involves so much, which involves financial mm -hmm. agendas, knowing where you're going to get, you may get money from grants, or yep. you may have your own money. Mm -hmm. You also have time management, mm -hmm. yeah. because when you're starting a business, you need to understand that your hours are not a nine to five. You're, depending on what your business is, yep. You have to be flexible and you have to be available at certain times that you're not mm -hmm. used to being. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then family and friends, you know, that changes. Mm -hmm. And then also costs that are affiliated, expensive, and travel. Mm -hmm. You got to get to know people. You got to get out there and meet people. You Absolutely. can't just be home and be lazy. That's right. mm -hmm. You got to get up like Outcast. Remember the song from get Outcast? Up, get get up and get out and do something. <laughs> no doubt about it. And the process. Once you get that plan, you have a process you let it flow yep. find your niche and yep. find, find what works for you yep. now the great thing about you and your personality is because you're an educator yes I don't know if it's you've been classically trained I don't know if it's just one of your natural gifts but for those in our audience that want to engage with you on social media uh, could you share your contact information, how they can follow you, how they can engage with you, those who want to get out, meet and greet Ms. Jamie Brooks? Well, you guys can follow me on IG at Jamie Lou, the Texas Realtor. That's J-A-M-I-E-L-O-U-T-H-E. T-E-X-A-S. Yes. I have, I have the Facebook and the IG, so I have to get them together because I, oh, yeah. what I did was I put TX for Facebook and I put 
T E X A S for, oh, for the, Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So cool IG thing, is yeah, Jamie Lou the Texas Realtors. J A M I E L O U T H E T E X A S R E A L T O R. That's cool IG and um, Facebook is Jamie Lou the Texas Realtor, but without Texas spelled out, it's just T X. No, no, we'll find you because. Uh, cool thing is that there aren't many Jamie Lou's no it's not on Instagram so your yeah. handle sticks out um, <laughs> yep. I want to thank you so much because I'm sure you've been so transparent and so open with our audience that there's no way that they couldn't have gleaned so much from your experiences that they can add to their tool belt to help them make better decisions mm -hmm. or to reinforce the decisions that they've already decided mm -hmm. to make so I thank you so much you're so uh, welcome. Appreciate it. Yeah. Mr. Brooks. Yes, sir. You know, it's the time of the show. It is, man. We <laughs> always ask what you got going in the world yeah. of the Texas Real Estate King this weekend. This weekend is going to be pretty explosive, man. So um, I'm a member of Mean Green uh, Training Center, mm -hmm. um, where it's in several locations and several boot camp locations. But they are also the host of the Beast Mode Games. So the Beast Mode <laughs> Games is going to be this weekend <laughs> starting at 8 a.m., at the Umbu Civic Center, so stop by. There'll be I'm gonna have a boot set up for mm -hmm. Brooks and Davis Prime Real Estate Network, and of course the Pure Hustle brand. So stop by, show some love, come purchase some items, come take some photos. It's an amazing event. There's usually over 1,500 people that come mm -hmm. out there, and you just see a, a, a ton of athletes from all across Dallas, Louisiana, Texas, just mm -hmm. that come pouring in their energy and. And it's a it's a platform that I that I've taken part in before. I've been an athlete. I've been on the staff, and now I get a chance to be a vendor. So it's it's a uh, it's fun. And always remember, health is wealth. Health um, is we, wealth, man. We definitely recommend everybody take their health seriously. Get involved. Get fit. Yeah. Exercise, Absolutely. brother. Yeah. Yeah. So great, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you for serving as inspiration for everybody who's not getting it in and who's not tapped in with you on their yeah. Apple Watch. So I know what's going down. Yeah. On behalf of myself, Rick Davis, the Texas Real Estate King, Mr. Larry W. Brooks, and our fine guest, Ms. Jamie Brooks, I want to thank yes, everyone for tuning into the Prime Real Estate Network podcast this week. In the meantime, in between time, you can reach me, Mr. Brooks, 24 7 365 on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. Until next week. In the 12 o'clock hour, everyone out there in the audience, please be safe and be blessed.